iFi officially has released their brand new hip DAC 2. It is an upgrade to the original hip DAC. Now, the idea here is that they're improving uh, some features that uh, one may need, like it's coming with MQA this time around. Uh, the internal um, chip is better this time. Uh, the original one came with 8 core Eximus chip. This new one is coming with 16 core Eximus chip, uh, which helps process data received over USB better. And uh, it's it's coming with double the clock speed and four times the memory size. The processor was uh, initially introduced to i5 high end price DAX, uh, like the IS, ISD Diablo but it's now trickling down to the uh, entry level uh devices uh now the uh, the biggest um, enhanced uh, enhancement it, it got is like full uh, mqa decoding now um it's not like mqa is the be or end all for audio files but it does help um if you need that high quality audio support does do what it needs to do um other things here is um high res audio support um it does support high res audio now the iFi hip deck to utilize an updated version of iFi's g uh global master timing circuitry which uh, features a new crystal clock that promises to feature uh, to feature uh, a way to eradicate jitter in the digital to analog conversion process. So it will perform a lot better than um, than most DAX, at least around a certain price range or, or off its price tag uh other changes the new hip that to uh retains over the the other one uh, the original one is um is uh the it it, it does now support uh dxd files a sampling rate of 384 kilohertz uh it supports dsd files uh, as well um sampling rate is around uh, 256 uh it also does have improved power up output for your headphones or earphones uh it it's around um it's around um it's around 400 milliwatts into 32 ohms uh which is slightly better than the original one um most headphones and earphones should have enough power to run them uh they they said that it, it can also work uh very well with uh, 600 ohms based um, headphones and i i really do think uh this will perform very well for most 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 headphones without any issue now other thing here is that um um to further that the outputs to to make uh, the, all the other um headphones a lot uh easy to drive the hip deck uh, amp uh, the hip deck and amp uh, boost switchable gain so it does come with a switchable gain uh that uh, you can toggle to get more power for your headphones or iems at the same time um the uh the, the amp does um does level the way it, the way it drives the headphones uh load overall it's uh it's able to at least pull out the best performance from your headphone without um either over driving them or at least under powering them at least for the most part it's not like it's gonna power every headphone still 400 milliwatts uh it's not the absolute best but it's good for what you can 
if you, i believe it's good for what uh, you can expect from it it's still coming with the x base functionality um, which is uh, all good um, it's coming with, with two usb ports uh, a type a for your audio data uh, usb c for charging um and um uh you it does have um the ability to be used with apple devices um so you can use it with your iphones i ipads with lightning ports because it accepts lightning apple lightning uh to usb uh to usb adapter so uh, it, it does accept that if you if you want to do that um other thing here is uh lossy audio is supported uh it, it does support a lossy audio as two ports for headphones 3.5 millimeter socket and 4.4 millimeter pentacon is here uh, which is quite good it does come with 2200 milliamps battery life uh lasts up to eight uh, last up to eight hours and uh, uh sorry it lasts between eight to 12 hours it all depends on the volume uh level you're listening to it at so uh if you are blasting it at very high volume it will only last around eight hours but if if the volume is moderate it will do 12 hours it does come bundled with three usb cable a usb c otg uh cable the uh, uh, which um, which is ideal for your PCs, Mac, um, with USB C ports. It does come with a regular U USB A cable, and finally a USB A to USB C charging cable. Um, uh, the Lightning adapter uh, for Apple devices are sold separately, so uh, you will probably have to go get that separately if you need that if 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 it's important to you the if i hit that too will be available for 189 dollars uh, about 189 pounds so if you can afford it then obviously you will have to go for it uh because at the moment it really looks quite good and, and quite interesting for most uh for most people that are, in, that are interested uh, to get it uh, so i will leave specs in the description if you want to check it all out uh do subscribe to the channel i'll see everyone next time